Hello you worship peoples, thanks for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be looking at the song, the hymn, Come Thou Found, one of my personal faves. Let's get into it. Yeah, this, this song is pretty uh, near and dear to my heart, as I know it's near and dear to many hearts. Um, and I love this song. The lyrical content is just um, extraordinary, and obviously it reflects from, you know, the situation and the person that this song was, um, was born out of. So, it's an amazing song, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys kind of like a... I know there's so many ways that you can play this song. I mean, at this point, there are like hundreds of variations, different renditions, different ways that you can play this song. I'm going to be kind of showing you just a solid, just kind of using the traditional chords, kind of making it simple. Um, hopefully, it's kind of like a, a nice mashup between the traditional version and uh, a very approachable and simplified version of this song that you can do, but you're kind of still maintaining the essence of the song. There's a few things that I have in place that um, are going to help you out in this video. The first thing um, are the chord diagrams. Every time I play a chord, these chord diagrams are going to be um, up here in the right hand, uh, upper right hand corner, and um, you can pause the video at any point. If I'm playing a chord and it, it's kind of complicated, and you can really see my fingering uh, for each chord that I'm playing. The second thing that I have in place is the fact that this video is segmented um, into the different sections of the song. So if you just need help with one particular section or you need to refer back to this video, it's pretty easy to do that because you can just hover your mouse or click on the scroll bar at the bottom of the video and uh, you can just click on a, a specific segment of the song. So there's three main things that we're going to be covering in this video today. The first thing is the key and capo placement uh, that I'm using. The second thing are the chords uh, for the verses of this song. And the third thing are uh, the strumming patterns that I'm using throughout the song. One more thing before we get into the instructional part of this video. Um, it's really cool because I actually have the chord chart uh, posted on my website based off of the exact chords that I'm going to show you today. So if you go to natemeyers.com, which I'll link above and below, um, you can click on chords at the top and there's a page there with chord charts and one of them will be Come Thou Fount uh, in the key of E. So um, feel free to go over there, download that chord chart, and you can use that to follow along in the video as well. All right, so key and capo placement. I'm going to be playing this song today in the key of E. Um, I usually either do this song in the key of E or D using the C position. Um, if you don't know what the C position is, I made a video uh, for that exact purpose, <laughs> and I'll link that above and below, um, how to play in the C position. Um, but using the C position, I'm going to have my capo on the fourth fret, which puts me in the key of E. Um, again, I love playing this song, um, you know, in the key of D or E. Uh, e is kind of nice because it, I don't know, just gets that range up there. But yeah, so I'll have my capo on the, on the fourth fret. If I wanted to play in the key of D, I would have my capo on the second fret using, once again, the C position. And that would be the, um, the D chord there. So, but we're going to be in the key of E. And all the chords that I'm going to call out to you are going to be in the C position. I'm not going to call out the actual uh, chords to you. Um, I will have the chord chart, like I mentioned on my website, listed in both keys. I'll have it in the key, the actual key that I'm doing it in, the key of E, and I'll have the position that I'm doing it in, the key of C. 
All right, so let's begin with the uh, what I'm calling the intro of the song. Um, it's basically like the verse chords, but I use it as an instrumental between the verses and as an intro and outro to the song. Um, keep in mind that this song is in the 3-4 uh, time, so it's kind of got that one, two, three, one, two, three feel to it. So that's kind of the timing that I'm going to be using when I uh, play the song, show you the song, strum this song. So here's uh, how I would approach the intro of the song. So one, two, three. strumming that I am using for that intro. One, two, three. Down. Let's look at the chords. So the first chord we're going to be starting on is the C. Again, I'm going to be calling out the chords within the C position, not the actual chords that I'm playing. So here we go. We're going to be on the C. G. And then I'm going to play a um, C over E. G to C. So it goes like this. So C to the G, C over E to F, G to C. I also threw in uh, some embellishments there that you probably saw. Uh, just doing the C sus. Um, so uh, when I came around uh, towards the end of the chord progression, um, so um, even right there, see, <laughs> I'm trying to catch myself when I do these embellishments because I, I do them out of habit, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you the opportunity to learn those things as well. But basically for that one, I'm playing the C2, and then I'm hammering on my middle finger onto the second fret of that third string. That's called a hammer on because my, my middle finger's hammering onto the string. I'm not actually like, I'm not actually plucking that string. Just strumming it once, and then I'm hammering that middle finger on. But it really sounds nice with this, um, this song and this chord progression. And then when I come around the end of it, that's a C sus chord. So I go. So I go up to that C sus back down to C. All right, verse one. Let's play through this uh, part. I'll sing it, and then we'll break it all down. So one, two, come the fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing all for songs of love and praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mountain time fixed upon it, mount of thy redeeming love. And then right there, go back into the uh, 
intro slash instrumental. All right, so for the strumming pattern that I'm using for verse one, it's the same exact one that I'm using for the intro. So you can just apply that same strumming pattern uh, basically to the rest of the song. Um, so why don't we get into those chords? So again, we're in the C position here. We're gonna be starting on that C once again. It's the first half of the verse is much like the intro that I already taught you. But um, so we'll start on that C. So come thou fount of every, and then we're gonna go to the G. Blessing. And then next we're gonna go to the C over E. Tune my, up to the F. Heart to, to the G. Sing thy, back to C. Grace. And then that'll basically just repeat again. So we'll stay on the C. Streams of mercy never, to the G. C, C. C over E. Call for F. Songs of to the G. Loudest back to C. Praise. And then next we're going to go to the A minor 7. Teach me some I'm going to go to the F. Sonnet, sung by. Back to A minor 7. Flaming tongues of. F again. Love. And then we're going to go to the C. Praise the mountain fixed up to the G on it. C over E. Mount of to the F. Binary. G. Teaming. Back to C. Again, feel free to pause the video if you need to study those uh, chord diagrams and see exactly where um, my finger placement is. And one thing that I wanted to address is how I'm playing that F chord. I know it's kind of probably looks weird at first because I'm wrapping my thumb all the way around the, the neck. It's basically just something that I've kind of concocted on my own. I'm sure other people do it, but um, I really wasn't taught it. I kind of came up with it, but um, just to give that F chord some low end and some support, um, over the years I, I started wrapping my thumb around the neck of the guitar and playing the, the, the root of the chord down here. So I'll play like this F chord up here, but then I'll add my thumb down here to this uh, root note, the F root down here. It's kind of tricky, so if you can't pull it off, no worries. Um, the chord still works without it. Uh, just make sure that you do mute the string if you're not going to play it. So basically you would just need to rest your thumb against that string so that it doesn't ring out. It still works, but yeah, if, if you know, if you can, I, I like to put my, rest my thumb on that first fret of the first string, and it kind of rounds out the chord and gives it some low end, so. All right, so basically I taught you the chords for the first verse, but those are the same exact chords for verses two and three um, that I'm going to be showing you. So, and, and then I already taught you the intro, and so you know the verse and you know the turnaround. Um, or the instrumental that's in between each of the verses, um, that those are all the chords. So I basically, at this point, I'm just gonna play through verses two and then uh, verse three um, for you so you can hear what they sound like. But, so let's, let's attack that, that second verse. 
One, two, here I raise mine Ebenezer, hither I thy help I come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at So verse 3, um, uh, for the first half of verse 3, I like to play it a little softer to give the song some dynamics, um, and then I'll play the, the whole verse and then do the turnaround again, and then I'll tag it. So I'll, I'll do the second half of the third verse again as a tag, um, just to kind of give the song like an ending, um, and I think it sounds really nice. But I'm going to play through that whole thing for you now, so let's do it. One, two, oh, to grace, how great a better daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a feather, bind my wandering heart to thee. So why don't we go back and break down the strumming pattern that I'm doing for the beginning of verse 3, because I know that's a little different than what I, what I showed you initially uh, for the rest of the song. Uh, it's basically the same like feel of the same pattern, but it's just really broken down, and I, I took out a few of those, those uh, hits or strokes within the strumming pattern. Um, so to simplify it, so let, let me show you what that, what that looks like strumming-wise. So one, two, three. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more little embellishment that I caught myself doing and that I want to make sure I don't leave you in the dark on um, is I would play the C chord and then I would pull off my middle finger. Uh, I already showed you how to hammer it on going from a C2 to a C chord uh, but I also sometimes will pull that string off um, going from a C chord to, to a C2. So um, like this is what it would sound like. I'm basically plucking that that string as I that's not me um, picking the string that's that's my finger almost plucking the string as I pull it off all right so that is our worship tutorial for today guys a uh, come thou fount uh, I think it's always a good thing for worship leaders to try to work in hymns, you know, consistently to their set list. Maybe not every Sunday or every time you play, but um, try to consistently put a hymn in here and there. I just think hymns are so foundational, you know, to our faith and they really resonate with people and, um, 
you know, I think it's just a good practice for worship leaders. Don't forget to use that core chart section on my website as a resource um, that can really help you uh, navigate this song. Again, I have it in uh, the key that I'm actually playing it in, the key of E, and I also have it in the position that I'm playing it in, the key of C. Uh, so whichever one you need, um, uh, please feel free to use that resource. If there is a specific hymn or worship song that you'd like me to do, vote for it down below in the comments. Uh, but I hope that this video helped you um, in some way. And uh, if it did, why don't you give this video a like and maybe even subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one.